Well, I'm all for all for the uh, franchise club um, aspect of cricket. I, I think it's taken away a lot of control from the board. Um, you know, a lot of guys are rushing towards it because, of course, it's a lot more money. Um, but if the boards, say for instance, the Australian cricket board, look how they've managed to keep their players under control. Um, they have something that's going on that everybody still wants to wear the baggy green. And I think that's a job well done by the Australian cricket board. Maybe something that the other cricket boards, maybe the West Indies cricket board isn't doing, where players are passionate about playing for West Indies. And if there's a little bit of um, uh, problems with, with fees or something like that, they know what they're wearing, they know what they're doing, the people they're, they're, they're playing for. And that's not the situation in the West Indies. And um, if there is no passion, and there's no sort of direction, then, you know, if I was playing, I most likely would want to play in the bigger leagues where I can make a lot more money. I don't think the Masters is going to uh, negate that problem. That problem is going to be there until the West Indies Cricket Board understands what they do to have a youngster wanting to play for West Indies, like I did 20, 30 years ago. I mean, there was no, nobody can drag me away from wanting to play on a cricket team in Sir Vivian Richards and the likes of Gus Logie, Jeffrey Dujon, Golden Greenwich, Desmond Haynes. That was my dream. Now a youngster is growing up and his dream is to go to the IPL. You know, so something must be being done wrong as well. I think most importantly is it, it, the people have to understand that I don't think the problem is going to be solved on the cricket field now, this year, next year. It's something where the Western Cricket Board has got to hold on to the teenagers, the grassroots level, and try to grow that, try to grow an attitude out of those youngsters that will, you know, you would see some sort of longevity in the future, some sort of success. Um, the present group is a pretty good group, a very young group still. We have a young captain, some good young players. Maybe that can turn around, maybe in a few years' time. But it's all about inside of them, you know, how they feel, what they want to play for. And um, that has been inculcated by the West Indies Cricket Board from a very young age.